Hello, this video is about Answer the Public. It's a free keyword research tool which uses Google suggestions or Google predictions as they are known. And it presents data visualization, uh, an infographic on the fly, if you like. It's a quick way to pull in some of the suggestions that Google gives you when you type in the keyword like small business and if you if you plug in the word small business into answer the public it will generate three graphs questions prepositions and alphabetical so the first one of questions that people have asked surrounding the key phrase small business so what where which who when why how are things like what small businesses to start in India where to apply small business loan etc and you can look at that as data if you prefer and you can even export it to a CSV file comma separated value file so I've got Excel here so that will open up Excel and it will put that data into a spreadsheet that's useful if you're wanting to uh, if you're working with a team and you want to you know send this data off um, to your team and uh, have someone go through it. A lot of it is gibberish obviously because it's algorithmically generated data so you have to sift through some of it and um, even ignore some of it because it just won't make any sense. Let's go down to prepositions. So like, without, with, versus, to, near. I mean if I, if I put small business near or small business um, versus big business see these those uh, suggestions are in this this chart uh, and again I can click uh, data or I can save the image and it will ask me if I want to download the image and I'll say yeah and I'll say open that up in Photoshop and it will give me a transparent PNG which is useful I do believe it's watermarked though. I'll tell you if it's watermarked. Let me flatten it. Yeah, it says created with answer the public dot com. But you know, this is useful. I mean, how large is this? Oh, it's pretty big. So I suppose you could generate some reports, a PDF or something. So if you're a blogger, it could be handy. You know, you could be looking for content ideas. Maybe you want to create an infographic, an ebook, a white paper. A video a podcast if I was to type in WordPress for example because that is something I'm interested in and it's quite a broad uh, phrase let's see what we get WordPress where to put now this is useful because I, I'm I like to write about WordPress on my blog someone's said WordPress where to put the fav icon WordPress where is functions dot PHP WordPress where is PHP to I and I I could answer these questions I've, I've got the knowledge to answer these questions so this is great for to type in the topic of your blog use the broadest term to begin with and then you can maybe niche it down so try it out answer the public dot com and tell me what you think about it thanks for watching bye